All right, this is how I generate the item in my game Balls Invaders for now. Every time you clear a world, you have a chance to get an item. And if you loot an item, the icon, the stats, and the rarity of the item will all be picked randomly. So let me show you some example. So here I have a double strong ruby of life, which has strength and life. Pretty nice. And this has been found in world one, level 12. Let's try world two. All right, here I found a heartwarming sturdy sword of life. So I got life, regeneration and defense. Pretty good. And this was found in world two, level six. Now let's look at a big item from world five. And here I have a triple therapeutic winner's heartwarming flower of life of growth. Yeah, <laughs> this one rolled a lot of stats. So life on hit, life, bonus experience, stat chance that will increase the number of stats you can get on the item and regeneration. All right, now let's look at how I generate those items. Okay, so to do my items, I divided them uh, with multiple resources. I made my own, so I created a icon resources. So I just extend resource. So that allows me to create my own. So if I come here, I do new resources and then I can choose icon and create that. And then I can give it the name I want. And so with that, I created like this, I have banana. I set the image and just the name. And then I load all of them from the folder at the start of the game. So if I want to add a new icon, it's very easy to do. I can just add a new icon resource and set the variable. I don't have to do anything else. Let's add a new icon. I simply do new resource. I choose my icon resources. Then I give it a name. Torch. Save that. Then I have my torch here. I only need to open it. And then I, here I need to set the variable. So I need to get my, my image for it. Torch. And then set the name. That's it. And then I can loot this item in the game. For the stats, I need to do a bit more, but the base is the same. I'm using resources too. So I have the ID, which is the variable I use through the game to get the stat. I have a enum uh, globally available. So here are, are all the stats in the game for now. Strength, defense, life, experience. So this is my enum that I use to find my stat when I need them. Then I have the name of the stat, which will appear in the list in the item description. Then there is the prefix and suffix. Uh, those are used in the name of the item. If I get the stat of life, the item will be called of life. So a torch of life. Pretty easy. And I don't I could use both of them at the same time, but for now I'm only using one of them. So if I get strength, it's going to be strong torch. Then I have the value, which is the value of the stat. So uh, for life, it's 10 when strength is one, something like that. So I can set the base value of, of this. So the last thing is the level, which means you can only find this stat in a specific world. So for some example, if I go in my stats, so those are all the stats that are loaded at the start of the game and that you can find on an item. So if I get life, the stats is life, the name is life. It doesn't have a prefix and only a suffix of life. And the value is 10 and it can be found in the first world. If I look at enemy number, the suffix is on a diet, value is minus one, because if you have this stat on your item, it will remove enemy from a world. 
and you can only find it in world 4. So that's about it for the stat. Now let's look at the rarity. Again, I set a class name and I extend resources. This one will probably change in the future. For now, it's only the name, the multiplicative power, and the chance to get it based on which world you are in. So in the rarity quintuple, the multiple is five. Uh, the name, so the name quintuple will be added to the item name. And then for the chance to get it in world one and two, if we go by the index, so the first world you cannot, and the second world you cannot get quintuple. But in the last world, the world five, it's 70% chance to get it. So in the world five, you get a lot of strong item. So that's about it for the resources. Now let's look at item, how I use them. The item. With those resources, I can build my item. The item class has the icon, multiple stats, and a rarity. When I instantiate a new item, I only have to call generate, and it will first get me a icon. It will generate a few stats depending on the level and world that we just cleared. And the last thing is the rarity. For the uh, icon, it's this function here. Uh, I just call my class that has all the resources in it. And I ask it to give me a random icon. And then I'll just set it here and set the texture of the item to that icon. So this is the function get random icon. Here I have my array of icon. If I go back in my folder, all of those icon here are loaded uh, when the game starts. Here, I have a function load folder, which you give it the path and the array that you want to fill. So here I have my icon. So I give it the path of this folder, which is uh, icons and the array to fill. And this will go in the directory of the icons. It will open it and then while it finds something, it will add it to the array. So then when I want to get something random, I just go and ask a random number based on the size of my icons array. So this one is pretty simple. It's only a random icon in this folder. And also this class is a singleton, so it's always available. And to do so, you go in project, project setting, auto load, and you can get it here. And if you get it in here, you can, you can give it a name, and this name will be available in your code anywhere in your game. So that's how I get this class in my item game enums. And I ask to get something random here. It will call the class that is loaded always at the start of the game which has all the resources. And then the next step is to get the stats. So I call generate stats. This is based on the world level and the world ID. So which world? If you are in world one, level 10, you will get 10 chance. So 10 attempt at rolling a stat. Uh, I make sure that there is always one stat by doing some RNG manipulation. <laughs> Here I, I set the RNG to zero, so the first time it will go through the loop, it will check if the RNG is lower than the chance to get a stat, it, and it will always be, so it will get a random stat. And the way it works, it asks for a random stat like the icon in my class that holds all the arrays of resources. Here I just load the valid stat because they are based on the world. So I just prepare a list of valid stats and I check to fill it with only stats that has the same level as the world that you are in. And at the end, I return a random one from this array. And then back in item, I need to check if the item already have the stat. So if it already have life, for example, it will add it. So if the stats life, so life adds 10 as a value of 10. 
So if it already has it, it's going to increase it by 10. So it's going to be 20. And if you get it a third time, you will be 30 life. If the item does not uh, have the stat, it will duplicate the stat, the resources. It will duplicate the resources because if you don't and the resource is modified, all the other item that use the stat will change also. And you don't want that. So the stat is unique to this item. And then I roll the RNG and you try to get another stat. So then after the stats, you try to get a rarity. And the way it works, it's pretty much the same. You ask the class that holds all the resources, a random rarity. And here I need to order the rarity because I start at the highest and go down from there. So initialize my list. This, I think, could be moved in a ready function, so I don't have to order it every time I try, I try to get a rarity. But since I'm mostly going to change the rarity system, uh, I'm going to look at that later. But for now, it's working pretty well. I get a random number, and then from the highest rarity, which is the quintuple, th those number represent the multiple multiplicative power so this one is five so this one is going to be picked first yeah triple if you are in world one for example it's going to be zero minus one so you will have a five person chance to get a triple item in world one so if you are lucky you get that and it will return this rarity you will always get a rarity here because normal is a hundred percent and then when I go back in my item, I get this rarity. And then for each stat that has been generated, I just multiply them by the multiplicative power. That's about it. In game, when you want to look at the name of the item, I call the get name. It gets the rarity, then it applies the prefix. So uh, like strong, sturdy, then it plays the name of the icon. So it would be torch, for example. Then it places the suffix, so of life, of the thieves, and stuff like that. And at the end, it removes the blank space, if there is any blank space at the beginning or the end. So let's look at how a item generates step by step. So if I clear a level 5 and try to loot an item, we might be able to see step by step how it's made. Okay, so I placed a breakpoint. now. It will start by trying to do a to generate an icon. So if we go in, it will call the get random icon, which will return one of many icons, and then it will set the texture. So which one did we get? If we look here, we got the ruby. All right. Then it will try to generate stats. So we are in level two of world five. So we minus one for the ID for the world. So it's going to be six attempt then rng is zero because uh, the first stat will always generate so if rng is lower than stat chances here it's gonna ask the stat stat chance of the player this is the player this is something else uh, this is all the stats on the player the base stat i increased them for looting item faster but here stat chance is 30 percent and it's going to add the stat of the item you have in your inventory so for each item in the inventory i have nothing so it just returned the uh, base one this one is the stat chance that the player has then if i find item that has stat chance it would add it so you could in theory have more than 100 now but this should be fixed. <laughs> so now I'm trying to get a random stat. So this is where uh, I'm getting all the valid stat. So since I'm at world 5, I should get all the stats. So we could skip the uh, validation. So now I get a random uh, number 10. So I will get the stat number 10. Which is strong. So it's strength. It's the first one. So it's going to add it here 
it's going to duplicate the stat strength and add it to the list of stats. So now I have one stat and it's strength. So then it, it generated a number, it's 18. All right, so uh, since my player has 30, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get a new stat. Let's jump over it. Let's jump over that. Now this time the stat is winners. It's stat chance. Oh, that's exactly this. So this item will generate with the stat, stat chances. <laughs> Now, since it doesn't have it, it will duplicate it. And then another a new number. Now my number is 39. I won't get a stat. And then I have 41, no, 36, 96, 13. Okay, now I'm getting a new, a new stat. Oh, but it's the end. I depleted my sixth attempt of getting a stat. So it jumped now to the set rarity. So the rarity, of this item will be given by the resource class, the game enums. So I order them. So yeah, this should be moved uh, elsewhere. Then I get a random number, a 30. So this item will be quintuple. I rolled it 30. And for the quintuple in world five, which is the index here, it's gonna be 70. So it's, if it's less than 70, I get it. So I got quintuple if i look here rarity rarity quintuple multiple five so for each stat i will multiply them by five and that's it my item is generated if i go back in the game so i have a quintuple strong winners ruby strength i had one strength and the 10 stat chance but since it's it's multiplied by five i have this so i can equip it and now if i try to loot a new item i will have more stats on it because i have now i should have 80 percent chance to get a stats on my next item so if i go to level 10 in world 5 i might have like 14 roll of a stat so that's about it if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you would like me to explain the code more in details or if you like if you would like me to show how I made another part of the game let me know and if you think I was not clear on a few aspect of the code or if you would like me to explain it differently let me know so thanks for watching i'll see you next time i guess Quintuple Winner's Chicken Drumstick of Claustrophobia on a Diet. Oh, this name is too big. Quintuple Winner's Sturdy Chestplate of Claustrophobia of Growth of Life of Prosperity of the Thieves. <laughs> Double Heartwarming Sturdy Therapeutic Flower of Life of Prosperity of Claustrophobia of Growth on a Diet. Quintuple strong heartwarming sturdy cat of growth on a diet of prosperity. Let's swap this for my ruby. Quintuple strong winners therapeutic ageless word of claustrophobia of prosperity of life. Oh my. All right, that's enough. <laughs>